Welcome back. This is Eric Roden, Doctor of Physical Therapy at Neurology Solutions, and uh, today we're going to go through an ankle series uh, for some strengthening. We're going to begin with some active range of motion. So this is Lorna. She's uh, demoing for us today, and I'm going to narrate through it. So we're going to start with kind of a rocking from a heel raise to a toe raise, and we're going to do two rounds of ten with this. So let's begin. We're going to start with a nice heel raise going up as high as we can, really trying to get on those tippy toes, and then we're going to slowly roll down and then bend the ankles as high as we can and reverse that. So that's going to be one. We're going to come up and two. Good. Really try to get up as high as you can each time working that full range of motion. And notice how slow she's going down. It should be attempted to be a smooth motion. Nice and easy. Doing great. Again, these are probably going to be pretty easy. You can technically add some weights or even a book on the top of your uh, knees if you really desire. But I think you'll be fine just doing these, especially if you do enough reps, you'll feel the burn. Seven, let's do three more. Doing good. You might feel a little burn in, even in the front of the calf. That's called your anterior tib. It's kind of a shin muscle in there. Pretty normal to feel that. That can get weak as we uh, age and we don't work out too much. Excellent. All right, so that was 10. So we're going to move on to now some windshield wipers. This is going to work what's called inversion and eversion, bringing your foot in and bringing your foot out. And we're going to pivot on our heel. So your heel is going to stay still, and we're basically going to swipe out and swipe in. Now, Lorna is a bit hyperflexible, so you're probably not going to get that much range compared to uh, what you're getting. But just do your best trying to get as far out as you can and as far in as you can. So this is just activating a few additional muscles in the ankle um, and the feet as well as the shins. All right, that's gonna be four. I may have counted that, I think that was three. That's four. And five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So we're going to come back to the original position here. And now we're going to try to just isolate the toes themselves, okay? Now this can be done. It's probably going to be a little easier on tile or laminate. Our floor is a little grippy. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to just do a toe curl. So nothing else moves, and we're just going to try to curl our toes under and then release. That's one. Curl them under. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, almost there, and ten. Now, this one's going to be a little harder. You're going to try to keep your foot fully planted on the floor and only try to lift up your toes, okay? So these are your toe extension muscles. So Lauren's doing a great job there, and again, she's got good flexibility. You may barely get them off the floor. That is totally acceptable, okay? We're just trying to activate those top of the foot muscles called your extensors. Uh, those tend to get a little weak or they just don't like to behave themselves so we're going to try to isolate them and focus on uh, getting those active if we can. Should be five, six, oh just kidding, <laughs> nine, last one more, and ten. Sorry I'm terrible counting here. Okay good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little resistance. So we're going to do some inversion and eversion utilizing a band. So Lauren is going to put a band around one foot. This can either be tied in a knot or just for the sake of this we're just going to loop it around. And she's going to basically angle that band a little bit to the side so she actually gets a different line of pull there. And then she's going to do that same kind of windshield wiper motion that we did initially in and then slow out. 
and it's very important you want to have control in and out of the motion because that's what's called eccentric you're lengthening those muscles in a controlled fashion that's three you're doing great four five six make sure you're counting out loud and breathing seven eight nine and ten good we're now going to move to the other side so you literally just flip to the other side if it's too hard for you to hold on to you can also attach it to the table anything sturdy and we're going to begin we're going to go out now and again slow in for one you can see that's actually a little harder on the eccentric part or just focused in and she's got it dialed in now that first one you saw a little shake that's going to be pretty normal for most people three four five six seven make sure you're breathing eight nine last one and ten good so these will be repeated on the opposite foot and then I would recommend you doing at least two or three rounds of these if possible. Again, this is a nice, just very simple uh, foot strengthening and ankle uh, strengthening series. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.